Democratic leader of the House, South Carolina, Congressman Jim Clyburn, who was part of that Hill meeting yesterday with the president. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. All right, let me start with uh, what we saw yesterday in the House. Obviously, there wasn't the support uh, at these funding levels to deal with transportation and HUD, and there was uh, folks upset, even some Republicans, that they thought the spending levels weren't high enough. What's going on with the appropriations process? Is, is a, I know you're trying to read the minds of your colleagues on the other side, but just walk me through what's going to happen here with the appropriations process. Well, I'm at a loss, Chuck, for, to figure out exactly what's going to happen. As you know, uh, before yesterday's decision to pull uh, T-HUD, uh, a decision was made last week uh, not to mark up Labor HHS. Uh, before that, a decision was made to uh, pull or not to do a, a farm bill that made sense. Uh, there seemed to be a tremendous amount of disarray uh, inside uh, the Republican conference. I agree uh, with Hal Rogers uh, in the letter uh, that he has written. Uh, I've worked with him uh, before. He is a very uh, good guy to work with. He is always trying to find common ground. And for some strange reason, uh, the rug seems to have gotten uh, pulled out from under him. And so uh, I'm at a loss as to exactly what's going on over there, except that I think they may have been powered 42 uh, to 60 people uh, who seem not to want to get anything done. The American people are getting a good tutorial uh, yeah. in what it's like when people don't want to use the word uh, compromise, less more uh, reach some common ground. I want to ask about a few other co uh, topics that came up uh, in the meeting that you had with the president, or at least topics that we've heard about in the press. Uh, mm -hmm. Number one, it has to do with Larry Summers and the possibility that he could be the president's choice to become the next chairman of the Federal Reserve. Uh, take us behind, take us inside that meeting. We have heard that the president defended Larry Summers from uh, critiques from other members of Congress. First of all, where do you stand on this idea of Janet Yellen versus Larry Summers? And what did you interpret the president's defense of Larry Summers to mean? Well, I don't know that there's anything other than the president defending a longtime friend. Uh, that is not to say uh, that he's made up his mind about who he's going to recommend. Uh, there's, not a, there's not a decision that must be made uh, in the near future. Uh, I suspect that sometimes in the fall of the year he'll make a decision. And I think all the president was doing was saying he's a friend of mine and I uh, do not wish to see him uh, being made a whipping boy. And that's all that was to me. I don't uh, put anything else uh, into that except uh, a gentleman uh, defending a longtime friend. Do you have a preference? Well, um, I'm always uh, looking to make history uh, up here, uh, and uh, there is one appointment that would be history making, and that is to, uh, to break the glass ceiling for women uh, in another uh, category. So if the president asked your advice, you would say you would like to see Janet Yellen, it sounds like. Let me ask you about the issue of, of, the, of the Voting Rights Act. Uh, did that topic fully come up in the meeting? Did the president talk? Is, there, is it realistic to see that a congressional uh, new, a new bill could get written uh, as the Supreme Court essentially ordered Congress to do? Yes, uh, it is very conceivable. I feel real good about those possibilities. Jim Sensenbrenner, with whom I've worked uh, over the last 20 years on these uh, kinds of issues, I think he did a great job. Uh, the last time this was before, was before his committee when he was chair. Let me, uh, Jim Sensenbrenner, the, let me, uh, the Republican, he was a, a Republican from Wisconsin, uh, part of the Judiciary Committee. Go ahead, sir. I just wanted to yeah, get that in there for folks. Thank you very much. He was chair of the Judiciary Committee. Uh, at the time. He's still a member of the committee. He's still committed uh, to this. He knows the value of this uh, Voting, uh, Voting Rights Act and what that did to bring people together in this country to create the opportunities. It's why I'm here in the Congress. It's why the, more than half of the Congressional Black Caucus uh, are here, not to mention uh, 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 the, uh, uh, so the Hispanic Caucus right. and other uh, minorities. Uh, just because you've made progress doesn't mean you take away the ladder uh, that you're climbing upon. We are not at the top of the ladder by any means. And to snatch the rungs of the ladder uh, out from under us, uh, I think, is a critical mistake. It would be okay if we did not have history.
to rely upon. And I don't know why the Supreme Court would not look back on some other earlier decisions uh, of the United States Supreme Court and how we retrogress uh, when those decisions uh, came into being. And there is uh, the possibility of retrogression in this important area now uh, if the Supreme Court decision were to stand without congressional right, response. Let me, let me ask you this. What's the time frame of seeing, of seeing something put together? What, what's realistic? Is it by the, uh, the end of this year, or is this something that may, take, uh, may go into 2014? I would love to see us do this before the end, before we go home uh, this fall. Uh, a lot depends upon the chair of the Judiciary Committee in the House, Mr. Goodlatte. Uh, I would hope that John Conyers, who has a long uh, time experience in all of this, uh, can work with the Republicans on the committee. Uh, John Lewis is working in tandem uh, with Eric Cantor, uh, trying mm -hmm. to reach common ground. I have had discussion uh, with Congressman Shabbat uh, from Ohio, who is very sensitive uh, to this issue. So there's a lot of discussions going on, and we have a task force in the Congressional Black Caucus, G.K. Butterfield uh, of North Carolina, Bobby Scott uh, mm -hmm. of Virginia. They are working with their Republican friends, trying to find common ground, and I feel good about our chances. Jim Clyburn, the number three uh, member of the House Democratic leadership, and of course, a longtime Democrat from South Carolina. Thanks for, for your views this morning. Well, thank